The Russian invaders regroup their units and continue the offensive in Liman, Severodonetsk, Avdiivka and Kurahova directions. And even in spite of mistakes and defeat from the armed forces of Ukraine, Russian troops are preparing to cross the Siversky Donetsk River again. Russian occupiers are preparing to cross the Siversky Donetsk River again in Bilohorivka. Some understood why they were being sent there and an entire battalion refused to go on the attack. But soon the newcomers will arrive. 2,500 units of heavy equipment are already departing towards us from the previously occupied territories. We are waiting for another underwater series in Bilohorivka. Serhii Haidai, head of the Luhansk Regional Military Administration. To remind that just a couple of days ago, artillery units of the 8th Separate Airborne Assault Brigade of the Airborne Assault Troops and Ground Forces of Ukraine stopped Russian occupiers who were attempting to cross the Siversky Donetsk River. Ukraine's defenders stated that they disrupted about 10 attempts of the enemy to cross to the right bank and destroyed numerous enemy's military equipment. They are also preparing for two large Russian offensives at Severodonetsk and the breakthrough on the lysychansk bakhmut highway from the direction of Popasna and Bilohorivka in the Luhansk region. The Russian occupiers are massively deporting Ukrainians from Popasna to previously occupied territories in order to mobilize and force them to fight against Ukraine. Three people were killed as a result of enemy shelling in the Donetsk region, another four were wounded. The Ukrainian military repelled 12 enemy attacks in the Donetsk and Luhansk regions on Saturday, and fighting continues in another six locations. The servicemen of the Joint Forces grouping destroyed eight tanks, five artillery systems, nine units of armored combat vehicles, five enemy vehicles during the past day. The night before, the 201st Russian fighter jet was shot down by anti-aircraft missile forces of the Ukrainian Air Force. The 201st aircraft of the occupiers was shot down. It happened in enemy territory around 6 p.m. Also, the air defense forces destroyed several operational tactical unmanned aerial vehicles. In Mariupol, the blockade of Ukrainian units in the area of the Azovstal plant continues. The occupiers do not cease airstrikes and artillery shelling. They also used incendiary phosphorus bombs for the first time, said the advisor to Mariupol Mayor Petro Andrushenko. The combustion temperature of the bombs used by the enemy reaches up to two and a half thousand degrees Celsius. The Russian troops shelled again the Sumu region with mortars the night before. About six shells were launched. No casualties were reported. Another time, the Russian troops also targeted the Kharkiv region. Two people were wounded as a result of the attack on the town of Chuhuyev. It was not quiet in the Zolochev district and the Izum direction remains the hottest point. The city of Kharkiv is relatively quiet, with no shelling, but the enemy continues to attack the region, in particular Chuhuyev was hit. Two people were wounded, including a 15-year-old child. Oleg Senyhubov, head of the Kharkiv Regional Military Administration. The air raid alarm was heard in almost all regions of Ukraine tonight, and in Odessa a Russian mine was even found on the beach. As a result of the storm, an enemy sea mine was washed up on the coast of Odessa. Unable to deactivate it any other way, our sappers decided to detonate the mine on the site. Reported by Marina Stepanenko, Mariana Kretchet, UATV News.